Let's be creative together. Hello, my friends, and let's get started. So it is summertime, and I thought I'd try something new on my channel. So instead of showing you just one technique, I want to show you several techniques that I showed in past episodes combined in one project. And you can see me doing a project from start to end. Uh, I think this will be interesting for you. It might be one or several videos, I can't tell yet. And I found this picture here and several others on a page called Unsplash and I found it really inspiring. I want to do something with them. They have this kind of sci-fi cyberpunk look. I really like this kind of thing. Also games or films in this kind of genre. So let's use that. Um, I created a canvas. It's uh, HD resolution um, 16 to 9. And um, so let's go and place the pictures here. This is the background picture and then we have the picture with the guy. And what you can see in this picture, well not, not right now, I have to resize him a little bit, is um, there is a lot of um, light thing going on and then we have darker background. So um, this calls for the blend mode lighten because the lighten blend mode only takes the light parts, not the dark parts of the picture. So when you set this, you can see it's beautifully cut out. We only have the um, glowing fog and then the guy here. And a little bit of the background is showing um, here, but that's not much of a problem. I will show you how to correct that very quickly. Um, another trick that I want to show you right now is when you're composing a picture, zoom out a lot, like you have a very small picture, and find something where the picture still works. And um, so, for example, you can see here, we have here a little gap in the middle of the fog. And we can use that gap to put this guy here in the background in this hole so he is still readable as designers say he's still visible even at a small resolution so let's get back to the bigger size you can see uh, it looks pretty good so this is a good trick um, to get a better composition another thing that we want to look for is uh, we see here the ground and perspective and we prolong it in our mind and we prolong the legs of this guy in our mind they should meet somewhere where it makes sense so this guy is not too big or too small now about the blending problem, very easily fixed. I will just create a new pixel layer and take my brush, set it to um, a black color, black, um, round, uh, with a medium hardness and a good size. This is okay. And then I just uh, paint it in black and you can see it will remove everything that's blending with because now it's black it can't blend with anything so now we have this guy looking very clear and clean so this is pretty good okay so let's go on we are not finished yet of course and because we have neon effects in this picture i want to use some more painted um, neon effects in the picture and i want to combine them with the title um, of this work basically or maybe it could be a film or it could be a book or a CD or whatever. So um, let's write something here. I will go with a very simple font that you have on your computer. It's Arial. I will set it to black. Uh, let's write something here. I will write it in white. Let's set this to white. Come on. There. Why is it not? Why is it not changing? Okay, let's write something first. Um, Hacker. What can we write? Hacker. Hacker domain. Let's try this. Is this interesting? What can what could we write that would be nice? Hack cyber. Cyber hack player. Uh, I don't know, actually. Let's try Cyber. Cyber Demon. Hey, that's not too bad. Okay, Cyber Demon it is. Um, let's set these to, um, how do you say, Align Center. And then will I, I will resize this so it has roughly the right, uh, the size of the font below. Uh, 
There we go, that should be good enough. Okay, so now we have this effect, Cyber Demon. And um, now I'm going to do a second layer, a pixel layer. Let's put this on top, actually. And I will create a pixel layer. And we will use up here where you have the brushes. Uh, you have, um, you should have these basic painting, drawing, spray paint, texture, effect. Not the others because I imported them myself. But you should have these uh, with the basic version, with the normal version of Affinity Photo. So I go to paint and um, select this brush here. And we'll set the color to a blue that we find here in the background. Let's see. Can you use this blue? Set it as the brush color. And I don't have the brush selected. There we go. Nope. There we go. Okay, that's good. And um, as you can see right now, it doesn't look like much, but this is no problem because this is just our starting point. I'm now going to effects and we'll be going to add some glow. So we go to glow here and set a nice blue color. Let's go to the RGB slider and select a blue like this and make a glow radius like this and then we go to inner glow we can set it to white uh, but we want to click on this little wrench over here and change to center for the mode intensity down radius up and you can see wow bam we have a glowing effect pretty nice huh so this was just a test now i um, click ctrl a or hit Control A on my keyboard, I delete everything. Um, I go back to my brush and I will resize this a little bit. Make it smaller. And let's see, I want to have a line coming out from here and then basically wrapping around the guy a bunch. So um, I have to activate the stabilizer. So when I draw, you see it's nice round shapes. So that's helping. So let's draw the line out from here and over the guy. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. That feels a little bit too flimsy. Like this, maybe. Yeah, let's try it again. Should I connect it to another word, maybe to another um, letter here? Maybe this one. Or is demon good? Kind of liked it over here. That was not too bad. Let's see. This Doing this with a mouse is not really easy. I would have a better time when I use a graphic tablet. But because I want to use the same tools as you do, I'm using just my mouse. And this is kind of hard to do. So let's go like this. It's... Almost good, but the end wasn't too good. Let's do one more time. Mm. I'm almost happy, but not really. Let's take it one more time. Should we go like this? Let's try it. So what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to use my eraser. I'm setting it to a round brush this time. Basic, uh, we're gonna use the round brush again. Set the hardness again to medium and make the size a little bit smaller. Uh, and now we are just going to delete some parts that we don't need. So you can see when I delete these parts here, it looks as if the line is going behind the guy. And this is really helpful for us to create a pretty convincing 3D effect. The only problem that I have right now is that the line is going over his face, which I don't want to have. Um, so I think I'm going to do the brush stroke again, maybe a bit differently. I'm not sure. Should it go and then up here? So this seems like a good idea. Or maybe, one second, maybe I um, save the time. I will erase this here, erase this part here and just draw the last part. So this should be a lot easier. Uh, let's see, I want to go like this and then come up from here. This was not enough. 
up from here and up there. So this is okay. Whoop. A little bit more. Not too much. Nope. Nope. Come on. That's okay. I think that's okay. Let's take our eraser again, erase the rest. Hey, that looks pretty good. I kind of like this. I kind of think this is okay. So I want to do um, a little bit of the glow on the font too. Uh, by the way, um, let's save here so we don't lose the file. And another thing that we want to do is um, you can see it's a pretty big document. And the reason for that is that I have the original size pictures here, which are pretty high resolution. And you can see here it says in brackets image, which means it has already or it has still the original resolution. Not good for image size, not good for uh, the RAM memory in your computer. To save the RAM memory, what you can do is right click on these layers and rasterize and this will calculate them down to the resolution that you can see in the picture and save you a lot of memory. So let's do that. We will rasterize this. So it says pixel and now if I save again, you will see um, it goes really quickly because the file is pretty small. and. I will close the file for a second and then reopen it to clean my memory and the work process now should be easier and faster. So it's a nice trick to use. Okay, let's go back to our font, to the effects and also here set some glow. Maybe also set it to the right color. Should I use the same color or should I use a different color? Maybe make this a red. I think, let's see, I'm gonna make it like this, so I'm gonna make it more extreme, well, this is kind of nice, uh, let's see what happens if I duplicate it, move it around a little bit, and maybe set it to a different blend mode. Darken. Darken is kind of nice. So what happens if I now change the color of this? We can have kind of a multicolor glow. That is kind of interesting. So let's duplicate this again. Move it down here. Wait, I will use my keyboard to move it to have a smoother kind of process. Uh, let's set this maybe to green or yellow. Uh, orange. Dark blue. Nah. Okay, this is not as good as I expected, so we will delete this layer. I think that's already enough. Um, so this is kind of okay. We will do some more effects on that. And um, another thing that I want to do is one something that I already showed in my last um, tutorial. And this is, uh, we are going to add some of these uh, rectangles down here. Uh, we fill them with white, we make the stroke zero, so there's no stroke at all. And then we are just going to drag out some lines. I think snapping is on. Snapping manager, yes, it's enabled. So let's disable this so we can easily draw some of those. I will zoom in a little bit. Um, and I will use this to create a nice... Um, how would you say uh, uh, disturbance like glitch, a glitch effect? That's the right word. I'm sorry. That's yeah, glitch effect is the right word to use here. So you can see like this. It doesn't look like much now, but uh, you will be surprised how interesting this looks when I'm finished. So let's uh, select all of these by holding shift and then clicking one and then clicking the one at the other end and then click uh, uh, hold on your keyboard um, control G to combine them into a group 
And now what I will do is just put them here. And with holding control and dragging, I can copy this. And I can even flip it, of course, around. When you hold um, your shift key, it will flip in um, different degree variations, so to speak. So let's put this here. I think it will flip this again. And when you resize it, it starts to look like it is a different element, of, although it's the same one. So when you combine this, you can make, you can see you can make really quickly, you can create a really nice looking interesting font um, without too much hassle. So let's resize this a little bit, copy it again down here, make another copy here. Of course, this adds a lot of elements um, to your to your file, but that shouldn't matter too much. Um, I'm thinking right now, maybe I, should I have both of them at the same side? Or maybe I put one of those to the other side. Let's see, we have all of those here. Okay, so this is one group. I can group them again, doesn't matter. I will call this G1 and I will call the other group G2. G2, there we go. And now I can take this and um, move it to the other side. It's, but there's not really enough room. Maybe I leave it over here where it was. So that's that's okay. Uh, the next thing I want to do is add some live filter um, motion blur to um, these, to group one, and actually also group two. Um, I could bundle them. So you can see it starts up here. When you look, it starts to look really interesting. And um, to save on one effect, what I'm going to do is uh, to just combine those into another group. Um, glitches. And I will just drag the motion blur in here so it's just on the two groups and I save on using an additional of those effects. So you can see very easy, very nice. I will make this a little bit bigger. So it's almost over all of the um, letter here of the font. Maybe this up here too. Yeah, it's a, bit, a little bit like this. Uh, let's see what happens when I mix this with the background. Overlay. Overlay is good. Let's see if this works here too. Yeah, that's good too. Uh, so you can see with very, very easy tools, we can create something that looks pretty cool. And um, and now I want to add another effect. So what I'm going to do so I can preserve the settings that we already have here in neon light is just duplicate this layer. And um, with control A, I select everything and with delete, I just delete it. And then I can take uh, my brush to paint some more. I'm going to save real quick. So I'm not going to lose the file. Now I'm going to take my brushes and here where it says textures. Uh, there is some nice, um, how can you say, thunder electricity kind of effect in here. So let's set this to blue again. Where's my brush? There's my brush. You can see here, pretty cool. You can click on more and look uh, what is happening in here. Uh, so I want to have rotation chitter on random. That's happening. I also want to have size chitter also on random. So when I move my mouse around, they come out in different sizes. And you can see now it's pretty small, but when I move it around, uh, some of those are going to be really big. And I can just draw some effects around this. I think I should turn off the stabilizer. Let's draw some here. Okay, that's too much. 
And actually, I think I want to have it behind the font. So let's go to the layers. It actually is behind the font. Uh, then why does it look like it's on top of the font? It is on top of the font, right? Oh, because the font is down here. This is the glitches. Okay, okay, okay. I mixed that up. Um, let's move this down here. It's okay now. Now it's behind the font, so that's good. Let's delete it again. Not the layer, just the content of the layer. There we go. My computer is pretty slow right now. I can't tell you why. It's a pretty old computer though, so probably that's the reason. Uh, so let's get this finished real quick. There we go. And add some more down here maybe. And add some onto the guy. Some more up here. Maybe just a smidge and down here a little bit. And up here, tiny bit. So I think we're good. I think that's it. I thought it's going to be multiple videos, but I'm going to do more. By the way, I just see here there's a problem. I think I moved the background, so I will correct this real quick. Let's move this over. Why is it somehow my, my computer is acting up right now? Now, okay, this, this is good. So now we are back. Um, and it looks pretty awesome, I think. I hope you like it too. Thank you very much for watching and I think I will do another creative video probably longer than this. This was shorter than I expected but it turned out pretty well. I'm really happy. It's a creative project so don't take it too serious. It's more about fun and finding out how to do things and we combined a lot of different techniques. So thanks for watching. If you like my videos maybe subscribe to my channel and if you want to support me even more head over to Patreon and get the file with all the layers and feedback on your works and you can talk to me and all that good stuff. So uh, see you in the next video. Bye!